I just did an entire spiel about the two shows I saw on day three in London. Apparently I hit record twice because it did not record. It wasn't good, but it was done, you know? And now I've got to do it again. And I don't remember what I said. It probably wasn't good anyway. So day three in London, which is by the way, four days late. Sorry about that. I got a little tired when I was running around the city and you know, seeing shows, seeing sites, doing things. I'm already continuing to look that way, which I am sorry about because I won't be looking at you a lot. I will be looking at the wall a lot as if there's someone over there. There is not. Anyway, what did I see on day three in London? The first thing I saw was everybody's talking about Jamie. One of my most favorite things. Um, I had never seen it live, but I did see the original production that was filmed for Fathom Events. So here in New York, where I am now, um, I grabbed a friend, dragged her to it, said, I want to see this musical super badly. You're coming with me. <laughs> um, you know, like I do, dragging people places that they don't necessarily have an interest in. But as it turned out, she and I both loved it. And so now I'm looking this way. Well, I guess it's different anyway. <laughs> looking at another non-existent person. Um, but anyway, so I desperately wanted to see it. Um, I really wanted to come to London to see it for a long time. And I finally got the chance because I've had a few weeks off from work. So that was my time to get out here, to get out there because I'm not there anymore. Anyway, and, and see it. So uh, it lived up to every expectation. It was as wonderful as I remember from the film version, but of course seeing it live is a whole other thing. And that was just so exciting and wonderful. And I'm gonna say wonderful a lot, even though I don't say that very much in, in uh, person, but whatever. Uh, so actor-wise, Noah Thomas as Jamie. Oh my gosh, so good, so phenomenal. So talented, his voice, oh my God, just absolutely stunning. Um, his acting, just heartbreaking and and invigorating and ah, fantastic. I know I'm gonna use a lot of the same synonyms a lot of the time, but sorry about that. Anyway, oh, just such a great show. Other standouts, uh, I think her name is Melissa Jacques. Uh, it's Jamie's mom, very great. Um, you know, she has her um, so big, so small moment <laughs> of this show. Uh, I think he's called He's My Boy or something like that. So yeah, definitely she brought the tears from the audience for that um, performance and just overall so great. Um, and uh, another one that stood out for me was actually, I think Jordan Ricketts is his name and he played Dean and I thought he just did such a great job of being that like little snide school bully that we all know and hate. Um, you know, and I'm sure he's great in real life, but ah, he's such a good little punk um, that you, yeah, you definitely want to slap him once or twice during the show. But um, yeah, what a great job he did. Um, so yeah, some, everybody's talking about Jamie. Um, just phenomenal if you get a chance to see it. And hey, America, you will get a chance to see it because it's coming to Los Angeles. Get your tickets if you can't get to London to see Noah. Um, I don't want to misspeak, but I almost think Leighton is going to do it in Los Angeles. I could be wrong, but I think I read that somewhere. And I think that Bianca Del Rio is going to do it. Again, this could be wrong, but that's what I read somewhere, which, you know, could be nothing. But anyway, yay, it's coming to LA, so I probably have to take a trip to Los Angeles to see it with that cast and in America. So yay. All right, second show. Bye, Jamie. Um, as I throw him across the bed. Uh, second show I saw in the evening was The Prince of Egypt. So I should preface this by saying I didn't actually ever see the movie. Um, but I am a PK. I grew up like in church-ish. Um, <laughs> Meaning whenever I didn't have to go, I certainly didn't because I was a child and that was boring for me. Um, but yeah, so I'm familiar with the story. Um, to an extent. And the reason I saw this mainly was because um, I can't see it, you know, in New York. Um, so I kind of made a promise to myself that I would only see things that I cannot see here, um, which asked a lot of things that I would have liked to seen. Six and Tina, both of which I had not seen yet, um, I would have liked to have seen. But I said, well, I'll see those when I get back to New York. I want to keep all my theater spots open for things that I cannot see here. So um, one thing I had heard about was the Prince of Egypt. Um, and I heard actually mixed reviews. Um, I watched one theater vlog and I don't remember the name of it, but, um, and she was depressed with 
the production of it, but not so much the story and plot. The story is the plot, so I don't know why I'm saying that as two different things, but whatever. Anyway, um, so, you know, I didn't have huge high expectations for it. Um, I, going and knowing it's a biblical story and, you know, like <laughs> many biblical stories, a little problematic. Um, I, you know, had that expectation, so I wasn't, you know, shocked or surprised by anything in, in that vein because I already know <laughs> what's kind of going to go down. So I don't know if that was intelligible. I don't think it was, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, the plot, you know, it is what it is. Um, I think they did an excellent job telling the story as it is. You know, you you work with what you have, and, and they did a great job telling it, I thought. And um, the production of it, as I'd heard, was in, just incredible. Um, it's so creative, so, like, impressive. They obviously had done a lot of work and, and put a lot of thought into it. I, my favorite thing was how they used the ensemble, not, as, not just as singers and actors, but it's like set pieces. That was incredible and so creative. I loved it. Um, the music was great. The sing, singing, the voices of the actors was so, were so phenomenal. Um, definitely, I just enjoyed everything that, I, that they sung. Um, and the acting was great. Um, the actors, I think Luke Brady was Moses. Um, and he was just so phenomenal. He was, you know, emotional and appealing and you just, he just really sold it and you really believed, you know, what he was, um, you know, portraying. So that was great. And his brother Ramses was played by Liam Tamney. Is it Tamney or Tamna? I don't know. But anyway, Liam, sorry, I'm, I'm butchering, your, butchering your name. Um, I butcher most words, so I don't take it personally. Um, you are phenomenal. <laughs> You're great as Ramsey's. I gotta stop talking to him like he's watching this. He's not. Um, but anyway, uh, he was he was just another great actor in this. Another great actor. That's just so generic. That's not what I mean to say, but I'm very tired. Even though I have had sleep. I don't know why I'm still old. But anyway, he was great. He was a great like first ally of Moses and then rival of Moses. Um, and so it was cool to see the both of them, they're relationship evolve and how they both portrayed that so well. Um, so I thought that was great. Um, I should not have closed my program because I wanted to talk about a couple of other standouts. Um, I think Christine Alato might be her name and I, the character name I think is something like Zipporah. She was phenomenal. Her voice is great. Um, she was really great to watch as well as Alexia Kadame, who was Miriam, I believe. Um, and she was so good also and emotional and very affecting. So great cast um, and the choreography was great. The production I said was great. Um, I really didn't think there were any weak spots other than the plot itself is a little <laughs> weak in the sense that you're like, huh? Um, but you know, that's modern day standards of course. And, and you know, thank God uh, we wouldn't, we would definitely frown on what happens in the show <laughs> because that's bad. But, you know, as far as the plot goes, you know, they did a great job of telling it, I think, you know, as well as could be done. So I really ended up enjoying it quite a lot more than I thought I would. I think it's definitely worth seeing. Um, it's quite a spectacle to behold. And um, I definitely think, you know, if you can get a ticket, go for it. Um, I don't know what this was. Yay! <laughs> but anyway, before I get any nerdier than I already am, um, we're going to end day three's vlog and maybe do day four's today. Probably not, but... We'll see. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Enjoy theater. Bye.